GG. Actually, it's Octar back. Yeah, I've been yeah. here this entire time. Okay. Just Greetings sure. and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to what is arguably the silliest thing I've done in the past five minutes, which is impressive. Well, you don't have much time to do stuff in five minutes, so... Yeah, exactly. But then again, it's me we're talking about. I, I can always do something silly. So if, if I'm going to be critical of anything you do, it's because, well, you spend entire streams looking at a spreadsheet. Not true. I played Dawn of War um, two days ago. Seven hours straight, I think. Either six or seven. Unless you guys had your cameras. What? You guys have your cameras on. Yes. Well, two of them do. I do it because I'm used to it by this point. Um. So where were it? Oh yeah, you have just jousted each other to endurance <laughs> Come limits. Come on! Come on! <laughs> I'm sorry, I only had two minutes to do it. It's good enough. <laughs> You broke up, so that's the main thing. Love, I love how he photoshopped the lance. Yeah. It's not bad for two minutes. <laughs> Pretty much. There's a mad paint skills, MS paint skills right there. <laughs> GG. But yes, you I... are... You're now gathered in front of Sarah Lad, who... He congratulates you all on your participant in this little thingy. And he uh, nods towards Ashton and Ashton? Ashman. And uh, well done, well done. Now, to hunt this uh, bear or whatever it is the peasants think, this, think it is. Uh, go to the town of Imber and ask around for Old Gar, the priest in the town. You'll be able to point your way forward. Oh. Any other questions or are you set to head out? Uh, when or which can I do my lore thing? What do you mean by which? Well, uh, there's two lores, there's right fairy now. and Salem. folklore. So we're traveling to old, traveling to what town? Imber. Uh, which we're, direction? We're, we're traveling to direction. Imber to talk to the priest Olgar. I'm keeping notes on this, just to make sure. Thank you. My lord. Which way to Imber? I am unfamiliar with that place. Edinburgh is north. We deal with the Picts in time. For now we need to go to Imber. Uh, it's half day down the road. Just follow the King's Road and you shan't be able to miss it. Your will be done, my lord. And I uh, mount the horse. To Imber! So we're using our chargers? What horses are these actually? Uh, you have. Uh... The Ramses? Yeah, you have Ramses for uh, okay, general good. travel good. purposes. Yeah, okay. using our Ramses. So, yeah, um, which, which lore should I roll to know? Hook? Baby? Um, I'm still waiting. <laughs> yeah, you can give me... There's no snow, just general nature skill. So yeah, yes, roll me fairy lore and see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Uh, that happened. There are certainly large animals who are connected to the Fae and fairies. Bears 
possible. But yeah, just as Elad said, you haven't heard of any like such creatures coming into this part of Logris, so it's strange. Okay, mounting up and riding out. I'm guessing we already have like our armor on, our chainmail and shield and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What do I put in armor? Chainmail and shield. Yeah, the sh uh... chainmail chain gives is 10, ten armor. And shield is six. So yeah, so you have combined of sixty. Yes. Or do I put two different things in? Uh, two different things, and below that there's armor reduction, which is just a total. It just says zero, though. Or oh, I mean, you're putting in. Yeah, and you, right. you do it yourself. Stop being lazy. That's just shit. Stuck at a ten. Back in the, the olden days, you had to do manual labor, Sonny. You couldn't get this automated shit. I mean, that's the weird thing is when there's a combination of the two. That's when you get confused. Uh, yeah. The current uh, the current era of Pendragon states this about your equipment. Uh, Norman armor is the standard available. Ten points. Helmets are open with a nose guard, and long shields are the rule. Oh, nice! Well, it's the one that are like rounded on the top, and then a long like, a kite triangle shield. point. Yeah, okay. Yeah, kite shield. Well, at least if it's uh, stormy, we can just tie a, tie a rope to it and have, fly kite. They're pretty much shaped like. Uh, we can this. discover electricity before. Whoever did What's that. his face? Yeah, the fat guy. Bald fat guy. Very yeah. descriptive. He was he was in an epic rap battle against basically a tier. someone. A tier <laughs> shit. Yeah. Don't yeah, he was the in... Randall. I I played enough Mountain Blade Warband to know where this is going. So yeah, we head off and kill the bear thing. As we cannot bear its existence. So, so we, we get like attacked by a gigantic marauding group and then we lose all of our shit. Pretty much, yeah. Yep. That or it's Saxons. Always Saxons, oh, I man. Hate the Saxons. Always Saxons. <laughs> I want to believe. Now, I don't think it's marked on the map, unfortunately. But. Yeah, it's just, yeah, they have cities and like abbeys and shit and manors, but yeah, none, no small village, so. But yeah, it's half a day right away, so. Do you want me to roll anything as I'm leading the group? Awareness, perhaps. Leadership. We must not fail, brothers. Our first proper mission. That would be nice to have a hunt again. I wonder if this priest, Olgar, believes the same thing we do, or if he is one of those Christians. Eh, doesn't make much difference to me. Well, they never said druid, so... Hey Let's find out. I need. We need. Put the coconut away.
That's a problem. I only have one half of a coconut shell. Why do you even have that in the first place? I think I do too. Yeah, uh, I do. There's a thing here, uh, coconut ice cream <laughs> in its own shell. That's very popular. Well, then you, go and buy, nice. then you go buy two of them and then you have two coconut shells. Or have a whole coconut shell that you can just bang. Yep, I still need a yep. second. Gotta bang that coconut. Indeed. You know, if you actually go to the castle where the Holy Grail was filmed, you can actually buy two calves of a coconut shell as a tourist thing. That does not hmm. surprise me the slightest. But yes, I can, you know what, give me, all of you can give me an awareness roll. Uh, yay, it's the thing I'm kind of good at. I, I have a five in that. And I'll fail, I knew it, I... Can I let my bird be my eyes? Ooh, I crit it. GG. I need a bird, I don't wow. have a bird. Do I need to you buy a bird? five. <clears throat> I don't think you gain a, I don't think you have a bird just because your family's good with birds. But how are we good with birds if we don't have birds? Uh, your falcon was like 12, isn't it? No, 18. No, 20, 18. Well, we all just had birds. But I, I understand why we wouldn't have birds. I mean, what's your flirting like if you're good with birds? I was waiting for that. Probably uh, lower than mine still. Yeah, as you leave Darren proper and just look out towards yeah, I guess we will be moving north at this point how do you I'm moving uh, whichever way we should be moving yeah you, you do know the way but yeah you as you everyone but uh, wait let's see uh, bed were critted that's cool so don't forget to check your thing. Yep. But yeah, you see, you look around, yeah, you see, like, the rolling, the stubby rolling hills that pretty much permeate this entire area. You can see, like, I think, yeah, all of you can see Stonehenge in the distance, if you're looking at, when you look at that particular direction, even the vascular, because Stonehenge is the place you kind of are aware of, considering your uh, paganism. It's a landmark. It's also where the... You also know that that's where uh, Aurelius Pendragon is buried. And isn't it also where all of our grandpappies were killed? Well, mine oh. was killed by the Picts. Mine was murdered. Yeah, during a dinner or something like that. Yeah, it was. that was the one. Long knives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nope, think... oh, my granddad died in Carlin. Oh yeah, that's why I hate <laughs> Saxons 21, because he was murdered by Saxons. That's, yeah, that seems correct. And as you are leaving the, the Palisades at Sarum, why don't we do a short rundown of what your characters actually look like, so we get to get a mental picture of them. And um, because we have a nice line here, Ashman, you can start off. Um, yeah, whatever ten size ten is in in value, because I don't know the the math for it. Index of it somewhere. Index two, I believe. Uh, no, not index the uh, thingy. Yeah, while well, you look that up, I'll, I'll go through the character real quick. Um, average build, I guess. The size indicated by the size 10. Uh, short short cropped black hair. Uh, a massive beard covering most of the face. Because why not? Um, yeah, I don't really know if there's anything else distinct about him. It's just a massive beard in his face. Black. I can give you a height of him, but I can give him a weight. He's about a hundred pounds. All right, yeah, a hundred pounds. I don't know, one, one seventy maybe, one sixty, one seventy. I don't know. Like hundred pounds makes no sense to me. That's yeah. fifty kilos. That's not much. Holy shit! Nope. Yeah, yeah, you're a kind of run. 
Yeah, I'm tiny as fuck, dude. I'm literally the wrestling of this party. I need to go so so far, but yes, I... I don't think that's how it literally works. Well, nowadays it does, apparently. Well, maybe I you're guess. very malnourished, and maybe I haven't had a good meal in ages. Which is why he's such indulgent. Anytime he sees food, he just stuffs his face more than he should because he never knows when the next Wait. meal is gonna come around. Wait, male nourished? Male nourished, that, whatever the does fuck. Does that it's mean called. you only eat sausages? <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, it's not a word I pronounce often. Male nourished, male nourished. I don't fucking know. But yeah, very skin, very gaunt. Maybe like 160 centimeters, 170, something. Very short. Uh, short crop black hair, massive beard, probably hides the very uh, skinny, like, mangled face. Okay then, uh, Melian, what does we have get, he's big, we've got, we've gotten that. Yeah, so yeah, he's probably well up, he's reaching into the, the two meter range or it's well over six foot. Uh, yeah, two two hundred and sixteen pounds according to this shot. Yeah, and yeah, according to a BMI calculator, ideal height for him would be six foot six. I have no idea what that is in centimeters. So. But yeah, so he's he's absolutely huge. Six but, foot is like one over one eighty. Yeah. Uh, it's 198 points. Wow! So Holy... Yeah, so about two meters. <laughs> you're, you're literally the tallest person in the world. You're, you're as tall as Magnus, good job. Yep, uh, yeah, so he's huge. He's a bit of an oddity because he has like bright red hair that often seen in the pics, which yeah, kind of makes him stand out God a bit. Damn it. Yeah, I know. No, it's... Uh... Black Adder. Royal Blessed. Yeah, so red hair, maybe a, a close shaven red beard, messy hair, because yeah, he likes to go out in the wilderness and do random things with the trees and druids and whatnot. Uh, yeah. Fond of the colour green as well. Right then, uh, Jasper, I think that makes it your turn. A oh, new left side map, I like it. Um, I'm size 14. I don't know how much that is. Uh, 147 pounds. Sure, he's, I guess, fairly average built. Maybe a bit slightly over average built. Uh, uh, he has, like, fairly, I mean, I guess longer than, than most blonde hair, and, uh, you know, faces most people with a trusting smile, I, I guess. Yeah, he's, yeah. Appearance wise, not too. Uh, other than the blonde hair, nothing that interesting. Yeah, those. You have the hair uh, typically associated with those weird people that come on those weird boats now, now and again. Yes. We're all going to be horribly hated by all other knights. Not necessarily, but yeah, so Bedouir, that's your go, I assume. All right, here's the thing. I have size 13, but as one of my positive uh, visual attributes, I chose very tall, so I guess I'm skinny as fuck. But yeah, uh, Bedouir himself, he has a clean-shaven scalp, 
beautifully bright blue eyes, a curled red mustache, and he has an air of benevolence or, uh, around him. Like he has an, a very passive face, but he there's a kindness to his eyes. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know. Um, yeah, Vasco, I think you have. I have an amazing mustache. Uh, brown hair, brown eyes. Uh, hair is slightly. Not, it's not. It's short, but it's not like cut. It's just. It. There aren't were not barbers back. Okay, there were barbers. There weren't. Uh, I don't know what I don't know what the size thing translates to, but it's fourteen. Yeah, one forty-seven. You're the same as uh, Jasper. Yeah. Mustache is the main. Okay, um... A lot of facial hair in this group. Well, I it's... only have a mustache, though. That That's the main part. Can't be... I guess Jasper has the eyes of someone who frequently looks through a window. <laughs> would, would you say that your, your eyes are the windows to your soul? You could say that. The windows are the eyes to his... Castle? It's a matter of saying. A matter of speaking. Damn it. Uh, you should see him when he's cleaning windows. Okay, so we have to ask for, for directions because none of us know where Ember is. Well, you've gotten pretty self-explanatory. Head north. They, they literally have said, follow King's the road. King's Road. That Wait, in... is this the King's Road? I thought the King's Road's like the really, really good ones. Well, this better it's, it's be. It's solid, made it's by solid black lines. So I think we're going like this. So which map are we supposed to look at here? Uh, the, on one the, that's right one. Your, where, the one where although, your map is on. Although the PDF basically said no one had maps back then. No one. Yeah, this is. I mean, that's true. The maps are for your benefit. He has to give you a. Maps won't really come into play as hard as you might think they will, so you needn't worry about that, son. Excellent. So we we were told to follow the king. Yeah, it's up near Tell's head, up here. I oh, see. there's him. I thought it was. That's not down the road. What? Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah, I think that's, that's this map is not from the from the edition. That's it's a bit uh... confusing. Where is it? That's not really north either, is it? Oh, it's north fuck, that's, I mean, That is, yeah. it's like in the other... But they didn't say right north, they just said follow the King's Road, and seeing as we most of us passed on our awareness, I, I'm sure we can figure out a way to get there. It shouldn't be that fucking difficult. And yeah, I'm just it... thinking, if they said follow the King's Road, and the King's Road's the black, solid black lines, then we're going the opposite direction. We're going to love comments, guys. We're gonna stop. We're gonna. Where's Ember? What? There's no place called that. I give Merlin a call on speed dial and ask him for a teleport. <laughs> can I? Can portal, please? Yeah, I should probably also mention that. So, since you are a whole pagan, uh, some stuff might get interesting later on. Yay! Interesting. But yeah, for now, we'll, yeah, like Christianity is kind of the, uh, King Uther himself is Christian, but he does honor the pagan traditions just to keep everyone happy, essentially. And of course, he keeps the Archdruid at his side as a advisor. So there's not much religious strife apart from the fact that the Saxons are here and fucking shit up. So but that's mostly a land grab rather than a religious war. So.
So are we actually following the King's Road or are we just going this way? Yes, you're following the Northern Road. Past Amesbury, Stonehenge, up towards Tilted. Into the bigger hills and then taking, just following them to Imber. So, seeing as we're, in, we're pagans, could we uh, perhaps stop by an abbey and pillage it on on our way to get supplies? According to the king's peace, no. All right. Yeah, Wait we... until the the Vikings invade, then we can do that. So we're we're going the right way. I want to clarify this. Yes, yes. we are going the right Good. way. Just ignore what they said about the king's road. They don't know what they're talking about. Uh, I have a quick question. Do I start with an instrument if I have play, or do I still have to buy one? You have to buy one? Unless... How, how do I buy a falcon? How do you buy anything? Well, you go to the marketplace and you pay the required amounts of these, and then you get the thing. Yeah, that's... yeah. I do have a few these left. <laughs> Spend your pennies. Wait, did we get money at character creation? I did. Uh, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Yes. Uh, we, Jasper, we... Jasper's heirloom item is we... <laughs> he has a lot of I thought, spare pennies. I thought only Jasper got money. Yeah, you got have, you're not in control of your manners yet, so you have no income. His okay, manners so are like no money. six pounds. A Jasper... hawk is... Uh, a trained hawk is 80 Ds. That's the same price as a window, man. Uh, you, you wasted your money on a window. <laughs> How wasted is not the word I would use. <laughs> Look, I mean, I could get an exceptional dog. Ooh. <laughs> Can okay. I buy a young hawk and then just have it grow up? Dog. Al, Make that not work. Al, we we move forward quickly. We we oh, ride. Yeah. I want to have a hawk. Though. Or wait, it's falconry. That's the one I want, not hawk. Well, a hawk would come in if falconry. It's pretty much using birds of prey to. Hunt, much. But there's no yeah. falcon. There's only hawk. Yeah, that's why you get a hawk or an eagle. But yes, you you follow you follow the northern road. You pass over the river Avon, pass through Amesbury. You see Stonehenge on your right. I give it a thumbs up as we ride by. Stonehenge stonewalls you. That bastard. <laughs> and yeah, just through the hills mainly. The King's Peace have, have uh, made it so that the, 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 the roads are safe to travel by. And yeah, the, there's a minimal risk of raiders coming this far. Either south or east, depending yeah, on also, which, ra which raiders you're talking about. It's also the big fucking wall. Yeah, there's a ground ditch, uh, Ambrosius Dyke, which is eh, just a big thing in the ground. They they just dug to keep Picts and the Irish away after they got a bit too fed up with their raids. Of course, it's pointing in the wrong direction for the Saxons, but they have their own problems at the moment. Don't worry, Camelot's in the way. Yeah, no one will go there. It's a silly place. It's only a model. One could say that they got tired of the pig feed. <laughs> wrong universe. We just got three in a, war in a row. We're all terrible. Yes. On this, there should also be a fort on your left called the Hamburg, but I can't find it, so... I guess it's... Hamburger? I guess it up stick that sticks and move to Germany later. Mm -hmm. I blame the Saxons for that one. Yes, as you come down from the hills, you can see the massive trees. Travelers refer to as the Blakemore Wood. It's a wood, a forest. You know, this is back when Britain had forests before you decided to chop them all down and make them ships of the line. Eh. Worth it. There's a lot of X 
British Empire members who disagree, but let's not get into that just now. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you... You don't have a good idea of passing of time, but between 10 and 13 hours later, you make it to the village of Imber. Yay! It's located in the, like, in the valley between... Like from from the bottom of the downs, that from the hills, and just before the uh, forest proper, it's kind of wedged in between. And you know what? For fun, can everyone make me a stewardship test? Oh, oh. great! I have a two in that. Wait. Yeah, it's As everyone has a two in that. <laughs> yeah, because and thought... I roll a three, of course. No, I thought stewardship was something that was going to come later. <laughs> Nope. Uh, yeah, that's what that's what I was told. It was no. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just a town, a bit, a bit larger maybe, and you know, it's peasants and the lower classes live here, so it's naturally a bit run down. Surely that's recognized or heraldry. <laughs> Not according to the rule book. Wait, see? Oh God! So I just never mind. <laughs> bit yes. angry. Yes. You did put your points in the wrong place. But let's move on. We're right into town. Fuck. Well, I'm good at spotting armies. I hope everyone's good at spotting armies. They tend to be big. And yeah, you just... If there's a sign, I can read it. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's no sign, considering that these people probably can't read. But yeah, you, there is a sort of main, I wouldn't call it a thoroughfare, but it's just a, lo a, a bit larger patch of just packed dirt that there's no houses on, which is kind of a main street through the town. And yeah, you arrive probably uh, like afternoon-ish, like just before the main onset of evening. I ride up to the first peasant I see, and I say, uh, greetings peasant, take me to Ulgar, I require his service. If you come across, the first people you see is uh, some like, middle-aged man, he's, ha he's, he's got some sort of farming implement on his back, you are on, holding it over his shoulder, you don't recognize it, you're a knight, you're, you're, you're about to be a knight, you don't have time to memorize farming implements. And he's just, um, uh, right, my lord, um, just follow me then. I... He sort of, he, he bows up, away from you and just turns around see that's just double check that you just follow him and just walks away, or walks off. Yeah, I follow have, that peasant. I have a uh, graveling trot along after him. Yeah, you cause a Jordan. bit of, you cause a bit of a sensation, like, they just, you see a couple of people just crane their necks just to get a good view of you, but they don't get in your way or anything. And yeah, um, the farmer gets you to yeah. usually uh, not really an abbey, it's just the house someone has to, someone has mounted a cross on the house. And yeah, it's obviously the residence of some holy man of sorts, but yeah, it's not a Full-blown abbey or church or anything. Thank you for your servants, peasant. You may now return to your family. Uh, good, good, my lord. Um, thank you. Off I, I go, then. Work, work. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Gonna be a lot of different peasants, I believe, because I find it hysterical. I uh, but... dismount and step in. I, I bang on the door first and then knock, bang, uh, step in. I hope the floor is not muddy. I hate muddy floors. Well, I follow Ashman in. Yeah, following Beardy. Yeah. Beardy locks. I do that same as well. Make sure to do the thing that makes the horse not go away. I'll tie it up.
Yeah, yeah I'll, get, so, I'll guess I'll make sure that the horse are tied up so they don't run off or get stolen before I step in. Yeah, so yeah, you step into the um, residence, house, whatever the peasants call it nowadays. And yeah, it's mostly made of wood. Like, the flooring is just not, it's actually like floor panels, but it's not like... Like, you can see the dirt, like, baked in the grooves of it. But it's not like, too run down. I mean, it's far less than you're used to. Experiencing, but you know, as far as you assume that as far as peasants locate locales go, this is not too bad. And yeah, as soon as you step in, like on bench is sitting a older man, like possibly forties, maybe early fifties, like short. Like very short, uh, gray, grayish hair might have been brown at some point. There's some dark spots still left. That in basically has a brown burlap robe of sorts. Got a small cross hanging from a essentially has a leather cord around his neck, He's holding a book of some sort. It, it doesn't have a cross on it, so it might not be the Bible. Greetings, Ancient One. Where might I find Olgar? Uh, that be me, my lord. Um, I take it you're the when the Earl said he would send? Aye. We were told to bear no animal in the forest that would harm the peasants. Ah, praise the Lord. We have sent runners to the Earl and I'm glad that in his wisdom he chose to reply. In the future we... I suggest sending birds. They are faster than runners. I think they have birds. I'll take that into consideration, my lord. Um, uh, yeah, we have... We've saw, seen this big bear. It took, took one of the farmhands, it did. Uh, they screamed and never seen again. It, it, it must have ate them. Surely it ate them. That's it, what they do, man-eating bears. Are you certain it was a bear? I am, my lord. Big thing. Dark brown fur. These beating evil red eyes. Surely it's a creature of the devil himself. I, uh, As he describes this thing, I look at Malion and I say, uh, Then it, this is your task to bring it to bear. I, I'm trying really hard not to throw speed at you. <laughs> Same here. I have bad skills laughing. You haven't seen any Saxons around by any chance? They do tend to be big and hairy. Mm. Exude evil. Not this, not as far as I know, my lord. Um, or that may be the sons of the devil himself, but they're still as human, well, as far as I know. Well, it can't be that bad then. I, I would expect you to say something like, they aren't human at all. That is out of care. We require lodging for tonight, and the first thing in the morning, we shall set out to slay this beast. I 
Hey, I have lodgings I can do for you. Um, um, we should be able to furnish off enough spare mattresses for you to be comfortable. I'm sure it won't be what you're used to, but it's what we can offer. Well, I can guarantee it's not what I'm used to. So long as it's not wet. Not the mattress, that is, just the location. As long as it is not a stone floor, it will be acceptable. I, I hear that's good for your back. We Excuse shall endure my... for the greater good. Excuse my friends, they are very demanding. Anything will be fine. Yeah, he said. Um, all right, yeah, yes, uh, follow me then, and I'll show you what, where we can put some plunks and mattresses down. And I, he, I follow. He, get, he shuffles up and just away out the door, and he leads you to the side of the building. Like, essentially, might have been a barn at some point, but it's. Now it seems just used for storage and like there's already like two like young men putting down uh, mattresses like crude things like stuffed with straw and stuff like that. We brought horses. It would be. A gesture of goodwill if you could tend to them tonight. So they are ready in the morning. Yes, of course. Um, um, the feed we give to the mules and such should, an oxen should suffice, I do believe. I trust you know more about the feeding of livestock than I do. Where are your manners, Ashman? He's a man of the faith, not a farmer. My manor is in Berwick St. James. Not that. Okay, Cal, good one. Yeah. No. No, definitely no. It, it's, it's been better than the last few. <laughs> okay, that is true. Yes, if you... If you require food... Um, I believe uh, farm wife Megan's got some stew on the go. Excellent. I shall visit her immediately. <laughs> I feel like something's wrong there. I still imagine Ashman just oh. being really stiff and just, yes, I shall do so. I just throw on those long legs. Like, like he's marching everywhere he goes. I want to ask him if these are good hunting grounds. Why? At all. Uh, yes, my lord, they are not. There are plenty of game in the woods. Um, I've been known myself to... Well, a deer or two, to the need arise. I follow Ashman. Have you noticed... Anything changing with the wildlife since the bear appeared? Is there less game? It's it's not as usual as that's for sure. But there's still animals about. We uh, some of the farmhands. Caught a stag not too long ago, and we knew the bear was out. And then we just didn't think it was so close. 
How many victims have there been so far? Ooh. Um, as far as I know, of... there's got a lot of people missing. Uh, we've only found the uh, he sort of steals himself in, remains of uh, five or so people, though there are at least three more missing. All right, then. Well, I'm going to go get me some food and an early rest. Tomorrow morning, please show us to where the beast was last seen. I'll do so, Milo. And with that, I'm off following Ashman. Yes, food. Food is a thing. Uh, yeah, I don't have any. Um, can fast forward a bit here. Yeah, the food you're given are is it's a very, yes, hearty stew. It's very. Tastes actually doesn't taste taste so much. It's just boiled meat and channel. some sort of uh... yes. What would it be? Turnip, parsnips, Turn not... turnips and potatoes, maybe. Well, um, I'm not too hype on my vegetable history, but potatoes haven't been discovered yet because oh, yeah. Americas. Yes, I think it's. Parsnips and turnips mainly now. Well, it's a turnip stew with meat. It warms you up pretty good. If it's a harfy stew, does it mean that it has a lot of ash in it as well? Ah, uh, dude. It was pro the fire was probably made with oak. Wood? No. Uh, yeah, no ashes. I don't think there's I don't think there's, I don't think there's many ashes around. Well, it was just for flavor anyway, so. Uh do you want me to roll an indulgence thing? Otherwise I would just stuff my or temperance thing, otherwise I would just stuff my face with as much as I possibly could. Mind you my um, indulgence well, if, is if you're, sixteen. If you're, yeah, if your direct instinct is just stuff your face, yeah, yep. I don't, I won't make you roll temperance. All right. Wait, I should or shouldn't? You don't need to. All right. Yeah, I. Eat it's if you're trying not to go against, if you're trying to go against your instincts. Yeah, I don't. Then you roll. Is that right? It's just a bunch of peasants. I stuff my face and take everything I can. Yeah, their their table manners isn't much better, so. Alien's probably a bit more humble, <laughs> just taking what he needs. And I still have my helmet as well as I'm eating. It's just uh, helmet with yeah, nose guard, it, it, massive yeah, beard, and then just stuffing my face. It's probably making a right mess of the place. Yeah. Just saving some later in your beard for when you're out in the hunt tomorrow. That is true. Beard still is a thing. Yeah. I, I know this from personal experience, trust me on this. <laughs> yeah, I'll take your word on it. Yeah, so, yeah, you have a meal and... Unless you want to do something specific, I assume you just go back to bed, or go to bed, not back to bed, you haven't been in bed soon. What's the what's the thing here for, um, if a tr trait is higher than 
13 or is it 16 then it becomes a, a special thing if it's if it's 16 or above it's you're sort of famous for it and it's kind of your your personality is very much in that direction all right but 10 to 13 is nothing then mm, not really it's just all right 10 is the standard and 13 is just but 13 is your religious i think so Yes, what uh, you've been raised to sort of act in that direction. All right, yeah, I'll respectfully ask you if she channel. wants to uh, share a bed for the night, keep me company. As I have to point out that form, form wife from Wiggins is about. He looks to be in her 60s. Don't care. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't care. What? I might die tomorrow. Um, it wouldn't be romance, it would be I guess, flirting. Let's see that flirt. Go on. Please, oh, you're gonna, you're gonna, please, please, you're gonna, you're gonna, you wanna bang a freaking, you know, you're just stealing Bedivere's job. Nope. Well, if she slaps me in the face, I still have my helmet on. Um, no way she can touch. I guess you're doing this as probably as you're asking for more. So, please, of, sir, can I have some more? It's uh, like how oh, the fuck she her face gets a bit flushed, and yeah, one of her like. Probably her son or something, like a, one of her younger sons, like gives you more stew. And like as you turn to, oh fuck, as you turn your direction towards the new the refill, as you turn back, yeah, farm wife Megan's isn't there anymore. Oh. You know, farm wife should have been a clue that probably she's not into that sort of thing. No, no, you don't know. However, <laughs> Cal, you can check your last fellow because of that. So do I just m mark a check on it? Yes. Because uh, I, I don't see a reason why... Uh, last, yeah. The last fellow trait can have... Things can happen. I mean, I have it, so I might as well. Okay. <sighs> okay, so I guess we jump to the next morning then. Yep. We are. And yeah. So you don't wake you don't wake like stiff and wrong or anything like that from your time in the draw, but clearly not something you're used to and probably a bit itchy, but you know. You're doing business for the for your liege lord and you can stomach some this com comfort. Yep. Knowing that you're working for such a noble man. And healing Yeah, heal. I don't really know how the heal rules work. I think you... Just normal, like, it, it, path, Pathfinder? Pendragon is not really meant... It's not really a daily system, it's a... It's every week. Page one two two. Strength plus con plus ten. Character normally require recovers a number of hit points equal to their healing rates every week. On yes. Sunday at noon. Okay. It's Sunday at noon, regardless of when you start. Yeah, I mean, that's what the book says. 
All right. Yeah, first aid skill lets the injured character regain hit points immediately and ensure a blood a bleeding is stopped, infections prevented, and so forth. Oh, I do have first aid. Yeah, we all should oh, have a ten. Yeah. yeah, the first aid get to heal. First aid success nets you D three hit points. If you crit, it's D three plus three. If you fumble, you deal an additional D three damage. All right, I'm gonna give it a try since I am damaged. Can I just? Are are, are we sleeping on hay? Or... <laughs> oh god! <laughs> um, Damn it! Is it is it supposed to bleed more? Yeah, that's a natural twenty, which is really bad. Yeah, so better we start like wrapping some, just rip some cloth or somewhere and just start. Wrapping it and it's a bit hanging off, so he takes. Actually, probably, do you... probably takes a knife and tries to cut off the bits that yeah, hang I think down. You, you just... think you'll start with a dagger, so he takes it that and starts cutting, then slips and sort of. The knife sort of slides in, blade first into. Essentially, right here, like just in. <laughs> and. Wait, that wasn't supposed to happen, and he, pull, he pulls it out, like, before he it reaches, like, the... Something important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't tear out any muscles or anything, or important shit. Just, there's Can... now just more blood on the floor and on the knife. Can I use my first aid to help him? Uh, yes, I think you can. Don't crit fail to... Please. I mean, can you help people do things together? Well, I was just going to use my like, first aid on him. Yeah, but can I help you use your first aid to help him? I don't think there's an aid on other rule. Well, at least I don't do anything more. <laughs> A million looks at that. Hey, you, sh you should banish that. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I, I was thinking about that. I think he's right. Yeah. Don't stick it with our knives a bit more. I'm sure it'll fix it. You know, we haven't even done anything yet, and I'm already at 19 out of 25 HP. Okay. Maybe we should go out find the, 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 the bear and play you next to him. I'm, ah. I'm, at, what, I'm at 29 out of 30. I'm doing good. Ooh, that's... What does that status do? I think oh, the status effects, holy shit. Well, you're dead. GG. Wow. You get tetanus. Um, a fumble for a state roll causes further D3 hit points of damage to the recipient. <laughs> Worse, the patient's condition has been worsened and the wound is now infected, bleeding further or otherwise exas exasperated. GG. The, char the character is now unhealthy. Check the Kyroju needed box. <laughs> Fuck! You're gonna die just because you stuck a. Oh, that is not good. God damn it! Like that just. Yeah, that sounds we bad. Need... Is yeah. there... oh, where the fuck the Kyroju? Gotta go back to Sarum. You're doing your ancestors proud. Well, once uh, once I'm up and have it, the wound dressed up again, I'm gonna head into the church thingy. And see if the old man is around. Yeah, pretty much as you reach for the door, it opens, and he's like stepping out. He's got he's got a basket with some like sorted food stuff, and he's oh, Melo, can I help you with something? Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you have a charger around. Oh, um, oops, step into me. Pantry. I've, I'm not. I'm uh, quite. Uh, when it comes to the healing arts, the Lord has blessed me well. He has. Thank you very much, good man. I uh, grab a straw from the haystack as uh, I leave.
Now watch him fail. I have oh. stats. I'm sorry, that was the part that was keeping the blood in. I know now. Yeah, he's decent at it. Well, you learn by doing so. Even a failure is a success. I just want to. He crits. Holy shit. Oh. Wow. Uh, good. Damn. Well done. Nice. Hey, I bet. Yeah, and for first aid. Is this first aid or carodium thing? He puts in a, a new hand there, and you have now have a third hand. Yeah, the, as he succeeded on the first aid, I guess, the the infection is stopped. Or prevented, rather. But I think he's still sickly. The condition is still there. He just doesn't take any further debilitation from it. Oh, it's... I'm gonna say that you... You're still gonna heal? And for the... For this outing, at least, you're... You're still in need of, like, proper chirurgeon, but... For this outing, at least, you are... He has stemmed the condition enough. And you heal 5 hit points. As Yay. he... Yeah, brings out like... Like clean cloth and like washes it and... Wraps it around and... Makes sure that it's safely kept after. Hmm. I believe my... Character sheet is messing up again. And there we go. So I still have the character I needed thing. Uh, yes. But any ill effects won't be on you until at least a day has passed. Okay. If I had any money, I'd pay you, good man. Yeah, unfortunately I have nothing to give you, but just, I will remember this kindness. Just give him some Ds and he'll be happy with it. I don't have any Ds. I only have one <laughs> D and I can't really give that. Well, I mean, well, unless, but unless that is what you are after. And let me see. I have a lot of these still, you know. You know you're getting real flirty, aren't you? And God I fail. Damn it. Now, where are your suck. bedside manner? Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's completely oblivious to any attempts. Mostly because one, he doesn't expect it, and two, he's a priest. Also, it's like 480. Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit of a loss of words here. Um, that just happened. Yes. Or should I have rolled romance? And. Ro <laughs> romance. <laughs> Romans are for when you're actually trying to court a wife and attempting to get a hold of a dowry. Uh, I mean, uh, to, to keep her hand in love and matrimony. Yeah, that's the one. Maybe he wants the priest to be the wife. A slight problem with that. Uh, that's that the priest can't give him children. I mean, extra lives. I, I mean, backup characters. I mean... Let's, sorry, let's move on with this before Al's heads explode. Yeah, so he essentially brings you a basket of, I don't know, salted meats and bread and whatever. And I believe... Yeah, take a salt meat sandwich. What's the, what's the, highest, what's the highest hunting score in the party at the moment? Uh, I'll tell you just now. Million the hunting. Fifteen. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I don't expect it. Actually, that's the thing. I think you automatically know this, but yeah, you, Melian, just know this as instinct. Like you, you can't really be 
thundering through the forest in like your chainmail and expect anything to just waltz up to and do the thing you want it to. That's why you have uh, hunting gear. I believe there's a. Oh, we have hunting gear. Uh, the characters must remove their cl- armor and wear appropriate hunting clothing, which provides one point of armor reduction. Great. <laughs> what about the shield? That doesn't make any noise. Uh, the shield is okay. I mean, so... the shield is emblazoned with your family seal. I mean, you wouldn't go anywhere without yeah. it, right? Yes. And essentially, as you're eating breakfast, like, there's a small four or five peasants with uh, hunting dogs that arrive and they, they declare that their intention is to help you out. So they can be rid of this bear once and for all. Awesome. So our total armor re- reduction, reduction is seven, seven. now. Seven. Yeah. yeah, with one for the hunting armor and one for the sh- or six for the shield. Yup. All right. It's at this point I wish I had a great spear. Spare me your empty wishes. A boar spear. That works too. That can't be very good clothing. It's just slightly better than being completely naked. I mean, it's a tough shirt, I suppose. I mean, depending on how you roll, naked is probably more enjoyable. Yeah, it's heavy clothing, that's what it counts as. It is a heavy burden to bear. Yeah. There's also padded armor, or leather armor, but we have to buy that shit. Don't we have padded armor as part of the chainmail? Might. Mm. Honestly, that might be yeah, what your actually. hunting gear actually is, just take off all the metal bits. Yeah, simply... Heavy padding worn under knights, worn by knights under the metal armor. Uh, did we, out of character, did, did we ride out alone just to us, or did we have, you know, pay, pages with us, or whatever the hell it's called, the, the lower tier? Uh, no, you don't have any. We aren't actually extra. knights yet, are we? Yeah, we're all squires yet. Come on, but let's yeah. hurry up so we can become knights. Yeah, padded armor is what we, literally what we do wear under our chainmail. So, I, if we, we could use that as hunting gear, it gives us one extra armor. Because it does say some poorer people use this as piecemeal armor for big battles. Yeah, I mean, padded armor isn't bad. Yeah, it's so better it's... than heavy clothing. Is that the two armor reduction? Yes. But it is Mr. Al who has the last say. I it makes it makes a bit more sense that you use that since you just have to pull your chain off, so Yeah. Also I don't believe hunting gear is in the starting gear, right? It's a thing that's only I think it's only mentioned in this section. Okay. Yeah, padded armor is uh it's uh, mis in misrepresented in games and stuff. It's actually a lot better than what you might expect. All right, so it's seven armor, eight armor reaction total. Two for the padded yeah. and six for the shield. Yep. Excellent. Now with oh, he... all the math done out of the way, let's go kill someone. Yeah. So essentially, Yeah, the hunting party, the, the peasant hunting party, and uh, Gar helps you with, like, essentially takes you to the place where they will begin the search and will be represented by a tracker. Excellent. Are we using oh. the chargers or the roundsies for this? The uh, walking. 
We're oh, yeah, going we're into a forest. Right. There's <laughs> probably very little room for a horse to so charge. So are we not wearing our chainmail in? We're not, because... We're, we're using padded armor. Alright, so no horse. Then I'm completely useless. This will also be the combat tracker, so it's a bit larger than what our purposes here will allow, but eh, let's yeah, go with shit. it. Um, yeah, I'm guessing a spear is a one-handed thing as well. Oh, loot uh, got a new Yeah, I think price. so. Loot did get a new crest that no longer has pineapples. Yeah, unfortunately there was no pineapple in the crest creator. <laughs> I don't know what a pineapple is yet. Or a European swallow brought it over from somewhere. Yeah, I've, actually, I'm not doing this. Um, <laughs> so basically, um, they are going to essentially organize into several hunting parties and. Yeah, for the purposes of this, all of you will be in charge of one. Ooh. And depending on... Uh, what is everyone's hunting score? But we all know... We all know who's gonna find it first. It's sort of my job. <laughs> yeah, we're kind of just there to, go, to kind of just narrow the search. My, uh, my hunting is two. Same uh, here. Yep. Is, is it... everybody else is hunting too? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why would we want hunting? <laughs> to could, hunt things, obviously. Here's, no. a, right. here's a question for you, Al. Could I instead I roll... I know Holy shit! Could I, <laughs> could I instead roll awareness, seeing as I'm just looking around for tracks rather than hunting? Like, I let the others hunt for me, but I, I'll think, look for tracks. I think tracks it's still all. hunting, though. Yeah, it's hunting is the all-encompassing oh. thing. Oh. All right. uh, those oh. of you that... So you that doesn't have a hunting score respectable enough, you will be aided, shall we say, by someone with a hunting score of seven. Yeah, I, can, I almost thought yeah. that was your role for hunting. Yeah, you should have saved that one. No, it doesn't. You do understand it's not all that good because it's only <laughs> one. Yeah, but a one out of two is not bad. So when is everything we, a competition? In this so way? when we roll hunting, then would we add seven as the modifier? And I think it's just plus five. Yeah. yeah. All right. So yeah, plus five as so the modifier. Yeah, and we will do this uh, as uh, every time we bring up the tracker, we shall we'll do it like uh, left to right just to keep it simpler. So Ashman, why don't you start us off? what you get up to. Do the thing. Nope. Yes, I, I'm making a point to have a spear out instead of a sword. Is there no like, bow at all? That's what uh, I'm looking for. There is, but I don't think it's not a knightly weapon. Yeah, it's a peasant weapon. What do knights use for range then? Nothing. Well, spear. You charge. That's the answer. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah, you toss. No, I... You toss spears and then charge with the lance. Yeah, I did kind of want to. Be a bowman as well. Uh, yeah, Ashman. Yeah, the hound you have been stuck with are, is going about his business. It's, like, it's actually searching for something, but it doesn't seem to have picked up anything yet. Uh, Malian, you're up. Let's do the thing. Oof. Almost a crit. Almost a crit. Can I get a fate point to add one? Where's the luck uh... stone? No. Star. Results are final, pretty much. <laughs> but yes, you 
same thing for you, really. But yeah, it doesn't I move in the I'm same direction. Yeah, doesn't move in the same direction as Ashman's. Uh, Jesper. Yay, crit! Fuck's sake. Damn. Do I no. mark hunting now? Or what? Uh, yes, but even if you have a... It's just a crit, even if you have a modifier to it. Because That's it's bullshit. very low chance of happening. <laughs> I mean... That's bullshit. It might go up to three, guys. <laughs> I... Sometime at the end of the year. Yeah, you... Yeah. Have to survive. Your hound seems to more even the other things dart off and yeah, it's handler and you sort of have to follow it. I don't get extra on a crit. I don't it doesn't state here, so. Sure, I'll take it. Uh better there. Fuck me! Come on! How many turns <laughs> have I rolled so far? You have to keep these for Friday. <laughs> it's about the it? same. You but guys the same walk, as when you, you guys walk That's back to the village. You just turn around and you just walk towards <laughs> the village. And, 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 uh, and then they're like, what's up? That's the uh, thing, in Pathfinder I never get natural 20s. When well, you yeah. DM you do. Yeah. That's too far. Uh, I do, yeah. I do. I get like a shit ton of 20s when I DM, it's insane. Most because you're rolling more dice for NPCs, I suppose. I mean, yeah, the race the is pretty you... high. The yeah. hound you're stuck with goes to a tree and decides to relieve himself before attending to business. And Baskill. Alright, uh... uh... Did better of you just roll a zero? Because he added two fives. Oh, it doesn't matter. Right. Oh my god, I succeeded! Oh. Well done. Yeah. Hooray. You have a clever dog. Yep, it sniffs about and yeah, goes off and do a thing. Yeah, yeah that was yeah around. Well, I guess. The call, yes, that was segment one. Yeah, round one. So yeah, it's uh, my turn again. Then. Yeah, back to you. Your dog keeps going, but yeah. Mostly sniffing about, like, off outskirts of the thing. Yep. Both Merriam and his dog seems to be tuned to this at the moment, and they keep going. See, this is why you put points in hunting. I know how to read. I mean, 19 isn't bad. Yeah, it's not a fumble. Your dog is very interested in a particular oak at the moment. Uh, it's probably something with that oak. It's a rotten oak. Better where's dogs decide to sniff something he shouldn't be sniffing. Well done, Vasco. Oh my god, I've succeeded in really bad rolls. <laughs> yeah, you start to roll low. That's the... Uh... I just want to roll a 15. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's 1 in 20 chance that you will crit, no matter what, so... Very true. Ashman's dog sees a squirrel, gets a bit excited. Hey, squirrel! Go Shit! Oh, oh no! That's, you that's... lost the track. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, your dog is... It runs, like... You follow a track and it leads you a bit around, and then you realize that you've been walking a circle for a bit, and yeah, you... Loose whatever trail you were following. It was bound to happen sometime. Jasper, of course, trusting his dog. Doesn't. Yep. Yeah, the dog just having a nice day out. I mean, he's better than this than me, so. 
Better story decide, seems to catch something and finally starts moving. Yeah, I'm not lost anymore. That seems to be what I'm striving for in this uh, campaign. Just don't be lost. Yeah, I best. wouldn't be too fussed about being last on this one, to be honest. Master Pascal. Yeah, let's oh, see. Right, if... right. Can you already have the, the five master? in? Yes, you can. God damn, damn. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is pretty fail. sad. I'll fail soon enough. It's just, it's just a partial compensation. So, okay. row uh, four. No. No. Spe special thing. Everyone give me a hunting at plus five. I can do this. I mean, that's the I... exact same thing we were be doing. Yay! I, I mean, I can't fail, so that's nice. Uh, would the natural 20 not still be a fail? Uh, no, it would be a crit. Damn. So, can you. Why have can't I have that, that natural 20 this time? Uh. Special thing is the exact same thing as before. So, yeah, look. Yeah, pretty much at the same time. They better wear Melian. Vaskal and Gar will find like pieces of the same trail. I think, yeah, Melian since they have the highest. You find like an actual like imprint of a bear's paw. Like it's fairly big. Probably bigger than any bear track you've seen before. Like at least a good maybe extra. 50% larger. It does look a bit old, but it's definitely been through the area in at least a couple of days. So it's a dire bear, that's good to know. A challenge rating 4, I think. Uh, we'll get Wrong five. P game. <laughs> I think it depends on what kind of bear it is. Well, I believe a dire bear is a cave bear, which is four. Not a dire polar bear, which is slightly higher. Yeah, and yeah, according to this, yeah, uh, everyone can roll me hunting plus five again. Hello. Ah, For we mix it up now, I guess. For a special thing. Uh, what? <laughs> Yay! Well, what? By rolling the same thing. Hunting plus <laughs> five. Bless you. Oh yeah, there you go. First. You know that's fucked. The two that uh, don't matter on the tracker, I both succeed on. I mean, it might matter. I fixed my. Uh... My crest, so it's it, it will be nice and square in a well in a square. Yay! Oh, I'm sorry. Dire bear is challenge in seven. A bit higher than what I expected. I mean, you can take it. Yeah, I have a spear. I'm good. You and you. Yeah, um, Bedivir and Melion, you seem to be each on the on the actual track now. You see four prints and facial tufts of baggy brown fur left behind. 
seem to be moving in the right, right direction. I feel like this is like the opposite of what happened in the race. Uh, kind of. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Because Can I, I move one back. I, I have no skill in in this. Oh, no, no, I'm... Neither does anyone else. I mean, I had the same skill as you. I would have. I would have had hunting, but then you went with the hunting, and I realized that I could. Yeah. Uh, everyone, plus five hunting again, please. Yeah, and now, now I'm gonna fail everything. I believe in you, Angus. I believe you will get back well, I, I, yeah. He has to roll 20 or below, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just waiting for me to roll a natural 20 again so I can get the crit thing. I mean, I had one success once, so that was cool. Okay, so Angus, could you give me a d20, please? Oh! There we go. Is that good? 16. You know, I didn't- I never thought I would see hunting being... I guess... displayed in this way. It's very abstract. Rep um, represented in this way. Uh, Melian, you can give me a awareness test. Hello, another thing I'm kind of decent at. Ah! Yes, you're following this trail, and yeah, you think you're actually getting somewhere with this. When you... Like, take a wrong... Like, not, you step somewhere you didn't. Really, you step somewhere we thought there was enough uh, like support for you, but you your foot kind of goes through, and yeah, you you've stepped right into a hidden ditch apparently. Lovely. So yeah, the hidden, wow. ditch. The hidden ditch to victory. Yeah. Yeah, Can I will count, I will count you that. as uh, having to spend essentially one segment. Getting your way out of this. Okie dokie. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get through it. No hunting plus five for me. Yeah, but everyone else can roll me hunting plus whatever. Plus five. Plus whatever. Plus five. Me. Hey! Wait a minute, when you're saying hunting plus five, is that on top of the seven? Uh, no, not really. Okay, so I'm, am I just getting a straight plus five then? Okay. Ooh, poor Chesper. I mean... It's fine. Uh, yeah, Jasper, you can give me a d20 as well. Also, I believe this is either my second or my third time rolling an eight. Four seems to be pretty popular as well. Fourteen. You can give me Jasper, you can roll me an awareness test as well. Now I succeed. Yeah. Nothing adverse seems to come from this. I think I've Misread something, yeah, but eh, fuck it. Back. Yeah, and now. Yeah, Vascals will stand. Everyone else gives me plus five hunting. Oh, okay. I roll the next roll. Hey. That's kind of the exact opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> Another success. What's this? Uh, I'll say just roll straight hunting, don't worry about the plus five, and I'll roll a 20. There's a million. <laughs> Ashman, we'll see you when we get back. Goodbye.
It's kind of impressive that he hasn't rolled a single success. Yeah. Okay, so... I mean, technically he's probably the smartest one out of us all, not going after the bear. I mean, he's trying. <laughs> he's just not succeeding. Do we know he's trying? I guess not. As opposed to, you know, the riding thing, where I rolled every success. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Balance has been restored. I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> I only done good at horsemanship because, well, it starts at 10. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably having a nice casual forest walk discussing the, you know, the herbs and the spices that you can find here to uh, make better Have food. you been to England? Yeah, that's but true, actually. I the haven't. spiciest thing they have there is a turnip. Yeah, I mean, there are spicy turnips. Sure. I mean, have yes. you eaten a turnip? Uh, yeah. it's, not in a it's while. part of the national dish in Scotland, you know. I guess neeps and ties. Oh, no, no, that was the. Yeah, okay. Can I suppose roll again? Or... Yeah, so this meatballs. is what Melian and Vasco both. Uh, like, you both step into a small clearing at the same time. You see, you're in the from opposite direction, and you see each other. I wave. Hello. I wave back. What you don't see until you hear it is like this low grumbling noise. Um, that signals dinner time. When yeah, as soon as Melon hears the, the low grumbling, his mouth just splits into a wide grin. This is making him happy. That's oh. fair. Oh, look at uh, It's so cute. It's very hard to find not adorable brown bear pictures. <laughs> this is uh, to, I, I to scale. The, I picked the one that's slightly surprised. It's not to scale. Just it's... One. Oh my god. It's four units. Well, that's what it costs to produce a bear trooper in uh, Red Alert these days. Four units. Yeah, and yeah, you see this rather large bear. It seems like the peasants wasn't completely overreacting to local wildlife. And there's almost like there's a... Uh... Sorry, I can't really say this with the fucking picture. It's almost like there's a slight man mal malice within it. When it's eyes, it just looks at you. Uh, I'm sorry, he just looks like he's yawning in that picture. Oh. But yeah, the bear, like, Tron, like, seems to have been laying down and now Tron looks towards you, like, getting up from its resting place. Okay, I have my shield and spear at the ready. <laughs> so do I. And I'm all excited. I feel like Melian should kill it with his bare hands, though. It's just so we can have that one story. Just so we can have that story of someone killed a bear with his bare hands. I'm almost tempted to wrestle the bear. I'm almost tempted to die. In uh, mm. when I was playing Savage Worlds, I was wrestling a uh, undead chimpanzee once. As you do. <laughs> yeah. Going. Okay, now I remember this. Okay, so yeah, um, this is you have to declare what you want to do now. So we all, or just that guy? Uh, no, you. I will especially make. I will move the rest of you along as you start hearing the sounds of fighting. But the first couple of rounds, you won't be engaged in this. So, Melian and Vaskal, what are your plans for this? Fraud spear. 
So uh, charge okay. at it and poke it in the in the throat, because that's my plan. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's a bear. Is that a fly or like a bee? Looks like it. I mean, what's a bee? That oh, bite is oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure that's like a scene from the Jungle Book. Okay, so uh, Melian, you want to spare it? Yes, throw the spear. I'm uh, guessing I'm, I roll spear. Hopefully. Yes. You roll spear. Spear the fucker. That's a spear. Uh, the bear sees... Two of you, he's gonna split his thingy, so he can respond to both of you. But, wait, it becomes uneven, so it becomes... Sorry, I'm failing at math. Uh... Okay, so... You both pass. Yeah. I don't know what we're passing, but we passed, so that's good. Yeah, pretty much, it's sort of... Yeah, it's a shame it was, you throw the spear. Spear? Spear. I have a spear, spear. Yeah, that's just... That's just... Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> it's a, it it's like, essentially just reaches up with its uh, big claw and just shatters the spear in, as it flies past it. That spear is now broken. Yeah, I won't be using that again. Spears are cheap. And um, Vascal, really? you want to spare, spare it as well? Uh, do I have to throw it? Uh, no. In fact, I think it's not really meant to be thrown, I don't think. Well, I threw it anyway. Ah! Uh Uh, yeah, you, you both fail. GG. Yeah, you... Like, it's a bit too big. It's, it's not much... You're at the edge of the clearing, and it's, at this point, like, coming closer to you. And as it's moving, like, it's... Its entire frame fills your field of vision. You can't really find a good spot to stick your spear in. So yeah, you just sidestep the thing, and it crashes down, tearing at the ground. It's big claws. Uh, the rest of you, yeah, I'll just move you one step along. I, w I also want to remind you that at this point you can call upon your passions in order to increase your step, uh, your skill with a weapon. I don't think I have hatred bear. One of the few. You are doing this for your lord. Lord, Is Lord this a Saxon bear? <laughs> That's what I was thinking, you know? Could I... I, I think there's, there's a conspiracy here. Yeah, could I call upon that to aid, in, aid me in my hunting as well? Because this is bullshit. I haven't succeeded in a single role It's yet. mostly a combat thing, I believe. Alright, yeah then. I'm not certain, though. Do you want me to roll hunting at all, or am I out of the race at the moment? You're not out of the race. I think you just hear the sounds of combat yeah. and you're moving towards that. Like the bear is so loud that like you don't have the role awareness to know to hear it. So uh, my awareness is twenty, so I notice everything. <laughs> God damn! Wait, how did you get your awareness to twenty? Because it was fifteen at the start, and then I got five from my family. That damn family! I wanted that awareness. Which family is why family. I asked if I could use awareness instead of hunting for this. So, yeah, and the, for the purposes of declaring actions, uh, calling upon a passion is a is free. It's just you choose the combat skill it applies to, and it has a chance of fucking up. So that's the balancing of it. Okay. That happens if it fucks up. Uh, things happen. If you crit, <laughs> if you fumble, you go insane. 
Oh. Alrighty, so are we declaring actions again? Uh, yeah, basically. Is it an action to draw a weapon? Another one? Uh, not really, no. Okay, then I'll take my other spear and try and stab it. You're running up and stabbing it, okay? Yep. Oktar, do you want to try and stab it again? Yes. Ah, 13 again. Jinx. Yeah, you're the one in its field of vision, so it's going to try and go for you with all, all, all its might. Bonk. Oh, and he passes. Because this time he's not splitting his skill. This could get ugly. Think. Uh, yeah, it can. You take eleven damage. Ah, fuck. Only three d six. Could have been five d eight. From its yeah. first swipe. Oh, first swipe. Never oh, mind. Oh, don't die. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a special. I'm mold. I'm out of the combat. Damn, that would straight up kill me. Yeah, I. Yeah, so you reduce uh, both of those with your armor, so minus four total, I think, plus your shield. Yeah, I think that's what you guys decided on. So it's... I have my shield at least. Yeah, the shield and padded armor is eight armor. Actually, reduction. two separate three d six damage rolls instead of a single damage roll. So yeah, you reduce this, you reduce both of those by eight. Oh, so your armor split between the attacks. Uh, yeah. It uh, for this like you cost the bear attacks twice. You will count it as you count the armor ah. twice. How do I reduce okay. my HP? Uh, there's a wound track at the top right of stats. Oh, okay. What What's going on with that tracker, though? It's weird. I don't... I honestly don't know. Is it like every time you take damage, you put it in or something? I think so. maybe that's for different wounds. I don't know. Um, so I take negative eight... Three. So that's what? Seven. I'm at 19 from 29. That's not too bad. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a war. Okay, yeah, shall I? Move? Yeah. Oh. Ascalius raises his spear, jabs at the thing, sort of hits him in the shoulder and some sort of just bounce off, and it's just swipes at him twice with his like, massive claws and yeah, you're hurt enough of that. And as you're doing so, Melian comes in from the side and... Stabby, stabby. Oh, at least it's not a fumble. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, sure. And he can't counter you either, so... Yeah, it's hide is very tough, so when you stab it in, yeah, not muching happens. Okay. Uh, yeah, Jasper and Bedivere are both, like, yeah, they're close by at this point. And, yeah, Ashburn is just trundling along. His story just seems to be happy to be out and about anyway. Okay. So, yeah. Melian, your declaration first. I'm going to poke it with the spear. Nice and simple. Actually, I'm to, we had the tracker for this reason. Yeah, uh, Melian, uh, just roll first. Okay. Sorry, as I learned the rules, this will go a lot more smoother. Oh. 
Well, Tess noticed that you're there and it's going to try and it's going to split itself again. Uh, but no. Not with that. Both flail about a bit. As it tries to turn around to swipe, to wide swipe you get at you. Yeah. Hello. Hello. And Vascal. Oh, I hit it! GG. I don't know what's the damage on the spear, though. I believe it's just whatever your damage says in stats. Uh, uh -huh. And with, with split skill, yeah, this thing can't hit you, so... Yeah, roll your damage, I believe. Oh yeah, it's set damage because of your stats. Uh, Thirteen, you say? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, that's that's a very powerful attack. Yes. Try. I can't bear with all the puns. You're not allowed to say that. <laughs> yeah, you. <laughs> You see, yeah, you stab it as it's turning around to swipe at your at melee, and you like, stab it like essentially in the it's called the armpit. And, yeah, it goes in deep, and yeah, you can as you pull it out, you can see blood on the spear tip, and it like swings around to try and yeah swipe at you, and yeah, you just take a step backwards. And as you know the stat, you see some of your fellow squires run into the clearing. Yay! I've spotted the beast! Distinctively noticing that our leader has not yet arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Fear not, companions, I am coming. Noticing more threats, the Berk sort of just... Seems to be more. It's not. Uh, doesn't seem to be blinded by race. It sort of seems to be like scanning the opposition. Be careful! He packs a punch or a claw, rather. That's good. I was thirsty. Boo! Really? I make a bad <laughs> one and and no one reacts. And... <laughs> yeah, because it's can. Natural for you now, we're just immune to it. God damn it. Okay, so, uh, Melian. I'm stabbing it again. Uh, so just roll spear just now? Yeah, yes. Hopefully I can hit it. Nope. One day. I really should just use the fucking sword. I don't know, it feels like it makes more sense to stab something big with a longer stick. Yeah, yeah it, it makes sense, but it's like, I'm so shit with the spear and so good with the sword, it's like... Yeah, it's... yeah I'm just gonna go at it with a sword, yeah, even if too. it doesn't make much sense. At least I have decent spear I mean, attack. we can we can surround it, so it kind of makes a bit more sense maybe with the sword, at least from the side. Yeah, I mean, the guys um... behind could hold the spears over our shoulders so the bear can't get close and we just jab it in. Uh, yeah, Jesper, you're in the opening. What do you do? Uh, you know, I'm just running up with the sword. Just... Be gone, Saxon scum! And, and stab <laughs> it. <laughs> hmm. I believe you need to get your eyes checked, mate. The bear, the bear makes that face. What did he just call? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess sword, I guess. Unless there's any surprise shenanigans or uh, surround shenanigans. Uh, not really. Like, if you surround the thing, it can it just limits the amount of people it that can attack it, and it can attack. So. 
Uh, yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not countering you, so you can roll damage. Uh, I just click the damage thing then. Uh, in theory, yes. Yay! Maybe. Stronger than me. That's pretty shit Bad. rolls, actually. Wait, well, oh. how does this damage thing work? It's your size plus strength divided by 6 d6. So my total is 30. So it's 30 divided by 6, which is 5, so it's 5d6 damage. Okay. And depending yes. on types of weapons, you can get extra d6. Jasper goes in, grabs the sword hotly, and stabs it right th into the beast's uh, actually shoulder. It's deep in to the meat, past the bone. Pulls it out, and there's a squirt of blood from it. The bear roars in uh, discontent, you would say. Uh, it is still looks like it's still raring for a fight, though. That leaves uh, better wear. Yeah, so how was that with the passions? Uh, you can make a passion roll, depending on the situation, to give yourself a bonus. I forget the exact bonus. I think you just... Just... In my head I have... Ball, but it can't be that big. What are you looking for? I, I'm not doing anything, so I can look in the book. I mean, it doesn't uh, actually. I think I'm just gonna attack normally. Oh, uh, yeah. If you, if you pass a passion roll, which depending on what situation you can roll a specific passion, if you succeed, you get a plus 10 to uh, a to one skill chosen, one skill or combat skill chosen at the moment you do, you're doing it. If you crit, you get plus twenty. All right, I'll just. Uh... If, uh, but if you fail or fumble, there are. If you fail, consequences. If you fail, you take a minus five on all rolls until, basically, the situation is over. If you fumble, you're maddened, and yeah, stuff happens. Yeah, I'm just gonna charge it with my sword. Uh, yeah, roll uh, that sword. I give a little bow before I do. The bear what? does not seem to notice your bows. Or if it does, it doesn't care. But yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't attempt to... It doesn't counter you, so yeah. Boo! This that is, is horrible. I hate these sixes. I always rush in with these sixes. Except when I roll for hate Saxons. <laughs> yeah, you Kay. slash it. Especially, you coming at it from the front, you slash it across the face. Like, it cuts, doesn't cut too deep. But like, you see, like, a streak of blood flow through. And the bear looks kind of groggy at that. Like, it wavers a bit. Like, maybe it's the shock of being hit in the face, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be going as strong as it was previously. So, yeah, Vascal, you're up. User joined your channel. Vascal the Rascal. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, can I switch my sword and attack as well? Uh, yeah, you can just drop the spare and go at it. Join in with my brothers! Ah, oh, that was close! Yeah? Yeah, it's not fast enough to stop you, so... Roll that damage. Yeah, that's... Not bad. Yeah, it's... Like... It gets up to its hind legs and tries to slam down on you, with both its claws. You step in, you glide in and just raise the spear, or sword rather, and the point, like, 
the bear's own weight acts as pretty much its own downf downfall as it as the spear is oh, sword sorry there's been a lot of spearing going on as the sword goes in before before the bear crushes you in his own weight you just re you yank the sword with all with all you can all your might and like dashes to the side and just its entire left side like everything on the left side of it is just covered in blood as it just spurts out and the bear just makes some sort of sound of severe discontent and just falls and yeah it seems to just died on the spot well done yeah victory I, he I hold my sword over my head. I thought I was going to be squished by a bear, though. I really thought that was going to happen. Well, you dealt enough damage to knock it far below zero, so it's something amazing had to happen. And yeah, at, <laughs> yeah, at the same moment as the bear collapses and dies, like... Your various hunting companions, the peasants with the dogs, step out from the trees they were hiding behind and starts cheering and chanting, and the dogs bark seemingly happily. Well struck, my friend. Indeed. A fine kill. No. Go to the glory of the hunting party. Where the hell is our leader? He'll show up. I and clean, as I clean channel. the blood of the sword on the bearskin. Uh, fur. As if on cue, Ashman steps into the clearing not long after that. I step, I strut in, one hand uh, with thumb within, you know, on, 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 in the belt, and the other resting on the pommel of the sword. And I look at all of you as you stand there triumphantly. Over the, on the bear corpse, and I say, "Fine work, gentlemen." Ah, now you just I'm... missed the battle. Yes, I could. I was barely in time. I barely made it through the woods. Yeah, the, the peasant next to you. Huh, that's funny, my lord. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. Now then, see, hang him for this lies. Do not I hang your, I, do not hang my peasants. As you, not yours. They are for this excursion. As you slay the beast, it is your burden to carry it back to this homestead. And with that, I do a dramatic uh, 180 flip and on my heel and walk away again. Same way I came. I look at the others. I believe we should put in a word for a new leader. Yeah, you can joust, but that's about it. Yeah, the pe uh, the patients are more than happy to help you. Uh, take back the bear. Not just deal with all the Carnage it has been doing around the area. Then back to the place we go. Yes, back to Ember. Oh, wait, are we not going to take the bear with us? No, we are taking the bear. Yay! Our glorious <clears throat> leader ordered us to carry the bear. I, I sing a cheerful tune. I would accompany you on, on an instrument, but apparently I don't have one. Don't, where is singing? I'm gonna fail horribly. I mean, you, you, could, you could whistle. It's singing. That's sort of an instrument. Oh, I got close! Yeah, I joined in. It's all roll singing. Uh, can I play the drums on my horse? 
Like just on the back of the horse with the flat hands. The horse is not going to be amused. So you're slapping the horse's ass? No, not the ass. Just like behind the neck. He, he literally just said you don't you slaps the horse, not the ass. We don't oh, have yeah, our horses to do here, this. though. Um, there's that too. I forgot to do is last uh, when we did the jousting part, but uh, Ashman, you get uh, ten glory for no, not ten. Uh, sorry, I misread that. But, uh, that's an odd. Uh, you get seven glory for uh, being the head jousting man and racing man. Excellent. In fact, the jousting is rigged. Um, I won twice and got nothing. Your horse was broken. For killing, for those that kill the bear, let me. So everyone else, even though technically I didn't hit the thing. Yes, yeah, so those were fine. Those that were fighting the bear all get uh, five glory, and Vaskel gets an additional ten for de dealing the killing blow. Ah. Uh... Well done. Th this hunt was rigged, seriously. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was rigged! Not a single fucking success. A glorious bear kill indeed. I mean, Vasco got lucky with the tracking and I just have excellent hunt skill. That's, I did. that's your problem. I have very, very lucky. I mean, if he got unlucky, I would have been there myself. I mean, I'm pretty much going to be useless until we get to uh, we get to a ball or something. But then watch me. I'll watch you dance with all the ladies and clap along. When when will I have use for falconry? Is my question. Whenever when you, you get a falk or a hawk or hawkenry, I guess I don't know. When when you get a bird of prey. Yep. So a religious bird. No, that'd be a holy bird. <laughs> yeah, a bird of prey. You... <laughs> nah. God damn it. There's no two-headed eagles yet, I'm afraid. There's been no nuclear fallout to create them anyway. Uh, but yeah, the... Peasants are... When you get back to... Imber, like, peasants are, like, Cheerful and I insist for you to would have to throw a small feast in your honor. Yay. They they imply that the, the meal will insist consist of roasted bear. Sounds tasty. We shall taste our own thrusts. Mmm. That's uh, that just sounded a bit weird. That's glorious. If you say so. So if we leave um, if Jasper alone with the corpse for a moment, does he have? Does he need to roll uh, against his lustful? <laughs> you know, I'm not as weird as you are with your with the lustful shenanigans. Yeah, uh, with that poor old granny. I don't think I, I don't think lustful means that you want to bang everything. It just means that you want to bang. Well, bang, it, okay. okay. It was the yeah. closest thing. But yeah, that hunting took. It, I, it was very abstract with our roles, but yeah, it took about five and a half hours. Give, take. Okay. You know what? I'll give Chesper a wink. Oh ho! Um, okay. Is there anything to draw against uh... that? <laughs> Chase? Chase, uh, I suppose. He, he's a player character, he can make some man, mind up. Yeah, I suppose. Uh... I... <laughs> you give him a, a, a nod and a smile. A trusting and a, smile. And awkwardly walk away. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You trust he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I know. I, he's, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> But yep, yeah, you make your way back, the, the peasants start preparing the bear and all its bits. They do... They offer you... Like, they offer you the pelt as a gift uh, of, like, yeah, you, yeah, you killed the bear that was hounding us here. Have a, have a, have a thing. Yeah. And it's, yeah, it's... It's pretty large bear, as previously said. Uh, depending on, you'll have to make your own mind up what you want to do with the pelt. I kind of want to wear it. <laughs> Shouldn't it go to our liege lord? He didn't. He didn't kill it. We did. I mean, it's it's proof of the deed, but uh, technically, it is our trophy. I feel like this should be a... A thing? Yeah, Mr. Double Taking Traits. I'm, I'm proud of my kill and I don't want to give it away. That, that's one. Yeah, on the other hand... You didn't deliver the killing blow? Yeah. Maybe a modest or proud kind of thing. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the closest thing, unless... Or generous or selfish, maybe, depending. Yeah, I'm generous, so I'll leave it up to you. I laid no claim to this thing. What, the, the pelt? Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, there just has to be, like, something we do it. Where we share it amongst our, ourselves, because it's like our first or our last adventure as squires. Hopefully. Yeah, and Melian, <laughs> give me a generous roll. Oh, so do you want me to roll against that? Or do you want me to roll generous or do you want me to roll selfish? Roll generous. Okay. Yay? Is that, that a thing? Right. Yeah, you My... don't you don't feel uh, comfortable in just claiming the entire pelt you own. I never, I never said I wanted to claim the entire thing. I just said I didn't want to give it to our liege lord. <laughs> I just wanted to wear it. Yeah, but it also, That's... also. So we could give it to the lord. Uh... It does occur to you that you. I mean, you wouldn't be put on this path with word for your leech lord, so also, so. True. Fine. If the very intent of it was, I want to keep this, but maybe I should give it, then perhaps selfish would have been. Yeah, General Shoulder was mostly to see if he failed and actually oh, yeah, yeah, that took into enough. his selfish parts. Fair because enough. if he had failed generous, I would have made him roll selfish, and depending on the results. All right. But yeah, yeah the... give it to the lead lord. Get fancy stuff. As for the meat itself, it is. Did you get meat as well? Okay. Yeah, they are prepared. Like, like it takes the better part of like essentially. The feast in your glory will basically be an evening feast because it'll take time to prepare. The bear. When it's it, a big bear. Yeah, when it does happen, they like. Pretty much, you can think of a, th you can think of a way. Actually, what I'm saying, it's it's Britain. Uh, you get boiled bear, and roast bear. Bear stew. Is there a peppermint sauce? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I eat all the bear stew, all of it. You will indulge in some bear. Necessity. Sweet, tender bear. Yes, in fact, I will. We've got the bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. 
Yeah, I also misread. You weren't at Saram at all. You were at Vagon over here. Oh. Where? Vagon. So yeah, we would have... <laughs> okay, I'm confused now. Yeah, you got... The point is where you got to the point where you got to. Yeah, we we still would have went north and then turned left. We still would have seen Stonehenge. Yeah. North-ish. <laughs> Is there anyone who doesn't partake heavily in the bear? I mean, I eat some of it, but I don't squaff it down. Yeah, I mean, I partake, but yeah. Oh yeah, I eat it. Oh, I'm, oh, yeah. I'm all. Oh yeah, it's a good meal. Mmm. Nom 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 nom. Someone should do first aid on me. Can't like first aid yourself. <laughs> nah, nah. I'll first aid myself, like. There you go. That's no, no, I do not accept that. It's not a fumble, though. I want to roll myself. Yeah, you... Good luck, I suppose. It's whatever. It's slightly better than the 16. Slightly. There we go. I'll try and help. There you go. Br the All priest right. will just look over what you do and shuffle over. So I heal you for a bit. Yeah, you... I think you can only do it once anyway, so... Between Melian and Olgar, you get... Yeah. They manage to bandage you up and... Make sure you don't get infected or whatever. Yeah, I'm telling you, Lud, you never see a 1 on a D3. Octar yeah. yield three hit points. Is there uh, any alcoholic beverage served here? Uh, yes, they will have some um, a variant of ale, you might say. I'm downing as much as I could possibly do. Okay, yes, because shits and giggles. Could you... Be on my constitution. Okay. No big problems. You... You can stomach your drink. The wine you're used to, but eh, it it goes down. It keeps the cold out of my bones. You have a constitution of twenty-one. Yes. What the fuck did you do with your stats, man? <laughs> Specialized. Yeah, I went full on constitution because why not? Yeah, I went full on size. If I could make size bigger, I would. Okay, so... Yeah, I think some tales have begun to spread amongst... ...peasants about... ...the particular death of the big bear. And I think, uh, Vaskel, you at some point during the night, probably when you're away relieving yourself or something, like, you're a bit, just slightly away from the main parting. And, yeah, you will get approached by, it was a young woman. 
and basically okay. just just roll me your last full because I want to see how this plays out in roll form. <laughs> oh holy shit! Well, um, <laughs> oh damn! So does that mean that he's super chased, or how does that work? I think he auto he automatically. My nose just starts to bleed. If I remember correctly. <laughs> remember correctly, your chase automatically goes down by one, but goes up by one, and your last will down by one. Ah! Uh. Let me double check. <laughs> So, at this party, could I roll? Perhaps... I, look, I don't know. She could be a witch. I... I'm, I'm being safe right now. Or she could perhaps be a Saxon. You don't know. Exactly. Oh God. But could I perhaps roll the uh, flirting to see if I can just find someone? So that's one special one. Uh. I mean, isn't it just it, peasants it, around? Like, flirting <laughs> would be easy to just find someone. Like it would be plus ten. Flirting. All right. If you're uh, actively seeking something out and not getting ambushed like Vascal did. Well, I'm actively seeking something out to come, you know, to um, you know help out with the 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 drunkenness of it. Are there STD rules in this game? Uh, not really, no. Please, oh no. damn! <laughs> what the hell? Um... <laughs> no one's getting laid, says the game. No. Oh, I'm gonna get Five. laid if I roll for flirting. Don't worry. The fist goes down. So you said plus ten if uh, I want to find someone. Uh, yeah. God damn it. Well, I have a bit more. St I have more standards than the rest of you. I think. I'm not going to roll that. <laughs> I don't want to go after peasants. Yeah, exactly. I'm just too drunk and just drooling and slobbering all over the place. Okay, so, so yeah. just like usual. The uh, fumble, <laughs> the, the opposite trait is checked, and the character immediately acts in accordance with the checked trait. So Vasco <laughs> basically counts as having passed a chased roll, and he has to check chased, and we will see if it goes up by the when we do the winter stuff. I passed, that's good. Uh, yeah, you were... If you haven't done so, just click the check mark for chased. Uh, so wait, is that? It's next to the roll button in between. Yeah, there yeah. you go. What, what does that mean? When we te uh, see if you your stuff levels up and changes, uh, your chased might. Which means oh, your last one will go down. I thought I missed, so that's good. Yeah, you, you, but you critted your last, you crit oh, fumbled yeah. your last full. Oh, right, right, I got it now. So yeah, base the conversation with the with with Vinweskel and the fair lady, fair lady, the peasant wench. He excuses him rather quickly and probably doesn't he doesn't see that uh, particular lady for the entire evening. Won't surprise me if she's the one better word bedded because he finds someone who is quite willing willing. In fact, uh, Lude, can you make a note of that? That may come back and haunt you slash save you later. Certainly. Extra life, man. See, the way I, I'm thinking about this is the, it's the na last thing we do before we turn into full night. So we have, you know, we can get away with doing stupid shit now, so we might as well. Before we, uh, you know, have to, have to have standards and all that shit. These guys don't have windows, though. Nope, mm. just hole in the walls. Yeah. <laughs> and as for Ashman's fumble, he's not really... Like, 
he hasn't gone down because of the drink, but he's getting a bit hard to understand at this point. And uh, yeah, the, the the woman he's talking to probably doesn't understand him. He has like fucking all these giggle, I suppose, and be on their way. Nashman's probably not. His walking abilities is a bit hampered as well. Yeah, and I probably have even more like bear stew in my in my beer at the moment, so it probably All doesn't right. help. What, what did the first aid do? I forgot. So you, go, you gives... gain three hit, three hit points. Yep. And it stops any bleeding or infection in, in case you have any of that. All right. It's pretty good. After Sarum. Right. Big on. It is Vagon, we'll come back to it, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Vagon is where you exited from. Also, Angus, there are bagpipes in this game for instrument skill. I think we need that. I mean, they're considered a rough weapon. Um, rough bagpipes. A non knightly instrument bagpipes. Yeah, um, I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, I think we will end it for tonight's session as you are going uh, to sleep after the party. I wanted to get knighted. Yeah, the night thing will be the big thing that happens next session. I can pretty much guarantee you that because, yeah. That's where all the, the window pitches will be at. What? Maybe. It, uh, <laughs> yes, I think so. Yes. Indeed. And that's where we have actually start the great the Grand Pendragon campaign. And it will be much more structured after this. Ooh. Well, we can only hope. But uh, don't count on it. Yeah, it's the bear thing. Uh, yeah, sort of encourages you to be fast and loose with shit. At least it wasn't an owl bear, because that would have been fucked. Of course, the only thing that will change in my roles is capacity crap. All right. So yeah, that was a thing that just happened. Yes. All right, guys, I'm going to call the stream here. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I might be playing some EVE after this, but uh, who knows. See you next time. I don't time. know how you can play a spreadsheet, but good luck. Bye-bye. Oh